pay for about 1,000 plus. It should work out cheaper for me. 4,000. 215, even more. It's for 200 plus. 400 bucks of savings. Tesla. Good news for him, because uh, I'm my condo's committee member, and this morning we were discussing about making our condo to be EV ready. Basically, uh, hopefully, if the exercise got approved, if we're able to push it through, and our condo will be one whereby every owner can tap into the main power supply to install their own uh, wall charger box yeah that's the idea but this is of course for those who stay within the for those whose parking lot is within the building itself for those that are out of the building the uh, surrounding parkings those we will have another solution for them which hopefully is uh, doable and this video I attempt to record this video without my usual recording equipment I am solely using the uh, dash cam because I've enabled my dash cams uh, sound recording and uh, I'm attempting to use just my dash cam and the fact that it has 4K recording capabilities to see how the video will turn up. But of course, these are dash cams. Don't expect crisp video quality like that of a GoPro or Sony and all that, but because these are not dedicated video production usage equipments right this is more for durability reliability small file size good compression ratio and uh, information that is usable yeah the idea here is to have footages that are usable so any one of you in KL where your condo has or are built with uh, EV compatibles or any of your condo which has upgraded to be EV compatible uh, do put in your comments and uh, let me know more what the fuck type of drivers congratulate congratulations while I attempt to upload this video and <laughs> that Cayenne just my god and I love my Aston Martin horns you know it's uh, subdued aggression yeah it's like a gentleman in a suit punching you or screaming at you while maintaining his facial composure yeah, that's the Aston Martin horn. Anyway, uh, what am I saying? Yeah, condos with EV compatibility, please uh, let us know what you guys have done. Um, the initial discussion, the more straightforward uh, suggestions is of course for the building manager coming to me and suggesting that um, 
why don't we install some EV chargers because there are owners who who requested that and then uh, I understand the problem facing these type of you know common facility charger how many points you want to provide and um, I, I asked him how many you intend to install he was like um, according to the committee's budget I was like usually how many they would install of course it's a rhetorical question and he said maybe two or three then I told him you know what's the problem you install two chargers the third owner will complain you install three chargers the fourth owner would complain and at first he was a bit confused then I told him I said that just think about it now you have one empty bay right two cars already plugged in and then one guy came home at 11 30 from work very tired and he plugged in his car and he went up for a shower and uh, dinner or toilet session or whatnot you know or sexy time with the wife or whatnot okay and then the other owner came back at about 2 30 a.m he must be thinking ah it's 2 a.m nobody's gonna be using it right and he went up to the chargers and he saw this car which has just fully charged okay and there's a green light there saying the car is now fully charged and he's frustrated that the car is fully charged and yet it is still occupying the spot what would be his first reaction he will go to the guard house and he will complain to the guard and then the guards would have to go to the unit of that person or try to call him and to politely tell him to remove his car because it's already full and this will go on every single hour of the day every seven day of the week and an entire month and year it will take up a lot of administrative resources just to solve this problem and he was like oh yeah so I said no we're not gonna go for that approach because it is unrealistic you know some people like to post pictures of cars that are fully charged in shopping mall and then they complain it on Facebook or whatever and say that these people are selfish because their cars are fully charged come on use your brain how would he know his car is fully charged you mean he should look at his watch and come back and check on his car every hour just to make sure it's fully charged so that he can remove the car and go and find a parking maybe he's not able to find a parking maybe he's halfway in the movies and he needs to come out and remove his car for your convenience it is irresponsible and selfish to expect another person to sacrifice his convenience for your convenience it doesn't work that's not how human nature works right if he's in the movie he's not gonna leave his kid alone and go and move his car for your convenience so this is a thing that is impossible to solve so that's why we have decided to upgrade our electrical I don't know what you call that the PB box or PCB or whatever crap not basically to upgrade everything on every floor so that the condo is ready for each and every owner for whoever wants a wall charger or a charging bay on their parking spot to tap into the newly upgraded electrical blah 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 of our condo so that it is safe for everyone and then they can charge their cars because we cannot deny that EVs will be more and more prevalent in the future that's one thing then comes the second question right how do we charge the owners and then of course the discussion will logically naturally progress to what are the charges of TNB right based on per kilowatt hour how much how many cents how many ringgits and 
then to install a meter on each and every charging bay to calculate the charges and then to put them in a the sheet, an Excel sheet and then towards the end of month and calculate how much should we charge the owners. This is also another thing that I objected, all right? Of course, the contractor said that, oh, now they have something very advanced. They have a cloud system where all the usage will be, will be added into the cloud and then it will pro produce a report and helps the condo to charge the owners by the end of the month. This is also another suggestion that I rejected. Why? Because the condo is using public funds to upgrade its facility to be ready for anybody who wants to use it. And if anyone just mounts a meter and then to pay what the TNB charges are, what does the condo get? In public interest, what do we get in return by providing this facility, by investing into extra infrastructure to help the owners, right? So I actually proposed a flat rate. That means let's look at a theoretical uh, per day charge. Let's say per day is six ringgit or seven ringgit for a full charge, right? That is for plug-in hybrids. Of course, for the full EVs, it will be a lot more. But you don't charge every day. Plug-in hybrids, you will charge every day. But for EVs, you might not charge every day because EVs have a range of 400 to 500 km, especially Tesla, right? It's not like every day they're going to use up the charges. So when you balance it out in terms of mileage, it should be average there, thereabouts. Let's say a plug-in hybrid travels about 20 over km per day and it comes home and gives it a full charge of about 8 kilowatt or 11 or 12 kilowatt it's gonna end up to be somewhere um, a few ringgit thereabouts so we have decided my counter proposal would be if you want the convenience of having a facility to charge your car the condo would allow you to pay yourself for the wall charger the wall socket and all that and you have to pay the condo a fixed rate of let's say 250 ringgit per month whether you charge or not you are paying a flat fee this will reduce the administrative resources required to calculate the charges this will also allow the condo to earn from the unutilized rates right because you might not charge every day but a flat rate would ease calculation a flat rate would ease most of the work required to establish this peculiar relationship between our condo and any EV car owner who wants a charger right so that's my counter proposal and uh, we're gonna work on it and I hope that uh, it gets approved and then we can upgrade our condominium to be EV ready for the future. Why spend all this money and do all this? It's of course for the value of our houses. If we invest in infrastructure in our condo, if we improve our condo facilities, our maintenance, our outlook, we will increase the desirability of our condominium. And from the increased desirability, it will, be, it will be either a good way to uphold our value and in turn is our asset, ahead. right? And in turn, it is actually our asset, yeah. Okay, so, uh, oh, there is a roadblock over here. Isn't this a bit too late to establish a roadblock? This is already like super downtown. Why do they build a roadblock here? Oh dear, that's gonna be really, really long. Anyway, yeah, these are the things that uh, we are doing for our condominium. Of course, we have other plans as well. Uh, if I could, I would explore a way to allow our condo to no longer need to repaint. If there is a way, you know, some modern cladding that we can clad onto our condo 
and we forever do not need to spend the money to paint our condo because that is a huge sum right every few years you need to spend almost a million ringgit just to repaint the condominium all right uh, oh, that's a massive jam no choice yep this is an attempt to record uh, a video with my 70 my a800 dash cam and of course I will publish this in full 4k resolution and uh, you can see the quality this video is not sponsored by 70 my it's just that after installing this I haven't really published anything it's just that yesterday I published a video of from my Audi which is funny the only reason I thought of publishing it is because I went past 10 traffic lights and all 10 of them are in green I must be a nice person all right so that's why and it got me thinking hey why don't I publish more videos from my dash cam and uh, what if I use my dash cam to shoot a video what would the output be like you know that would be interesting all right cheers and I don't have to end the video because it's it's just in the device it's sitting in the device and the device continues to record ah oh, that's an evil club car wash van nice uh, thank god that the brothers on the rise now Woo! endless celebrations all in my house